Hi, my name is Malhanila and I'm a photographer, director, music manager, creative consultant and a DJ. I dropped out of university in my second year to pursue a career in the creative industries. And for the last six years or so, I've been working on some amazing projects. Everything from Sampler's Mercury Prize winning album Process to shooting music videos all over the world. But as someone who does a lot of different things, I've realized how important it is to be able to communicate effectively all of my various outputs. These are my three key pieces of advice on how to sell yourself as a creative. Number one is self-promotion. For me, my website has always been that place where I can show rather than just talk about my work, which can be really difficult when you do a lot of different things. It took me a long time to finally nail down how I speak about the multiplicity of my work, and my website has been a great device to do that. So, before you reach out to future employers, you really need to nail down the line that you have when you talk about your work. For example, for me, I listed a whole bunch of different jobs I do at the beginning of this video, but I usually tell people I'm a storyteller because that's something that encompasses everything that I do and the multiplicity of my work. For example, you could be a graphic designer, but what do you specialise in? I'm a graphic designer that specialises in album artwork, for example. This is something that you should really have in the about section of your website, as that's usually the first place that a client is going to look. Number two is confidence. Having worked in branding early on, I understood that I needed to be proactive when it came to talking about what it is that I do. It's such a competitive industry and we can't just expect people to know what it is we're working on or who we've worked with. A lot of the time as creatives we can be kind of shy when it comes to talking about ourselves or presenting our work, but this is something that is so important and a skill that you really need to have when you're selling yourself. My biggest lesson in the last six years or so has been to get as good as I possibly can at talking about myself, my skills and my interests with confidence. It takes a lot of practice, but you can practice on your family and friends or maybe ask somebody to tell you what it is that you do from their perspective. Number three is your side hustle. While working in my advertising job straight out of uni, I wanted to work on things that I was interested in outside of that too. I knew I wanted to work in music somehow, but with no experience, I realised I needed to make it happen for myself. When you're in the job hunting process, be proactive and use that time to identify your passions. For me, my passion was always music, so my side hustle took its form as Cozy, an online magazine. For me, Cozy was a way in which I could explore my writing and get better at it build my connections within the music industry by interviewing artists and improve my photography. This started as a passion project, but eventually it led to me actually developing a career in the music industry and directing my first ever music video. It goes to show, always pursue your side hustle. It will allow you to show off your skills as well as develop new ones, and you never know where it might lead. There are so many different tools available to you to launch your project online. For example, with me and my photography, I use Squarespace's online store feature to sell my work. We should be challenging ourselves to acquire new skills every day and build on our existing ones. The creative industry is no longer a place where we have to be pigeonholed by our job titles. There are new roles being created every day, so really it's about nailing down what it is you want to do and figuring out a path to make that happen. So remember, one, your website. It's an amazing tool, so use it. Be clear about what you do and sell yourself into your next dream job. Two, confidence is key. If others are going to put their trust and belief in you, you have to have it for yourself. And three, use your side hustle to develop your skills and other interests and open yourself up to new opportunities. 